Hi everyone and welcome to STEAM Time. My name is Dana. I'm the Buena Vista Branch Manager with Monterey County Free Libraries. And today I have a very special guest. Ollie. Introduce yourself. Who are you? Ollie. This is Ollie, my son. How old are you? One, one, two, three, four. Show him four fingers. He is four years old and he's joining me for today's experiment. And for today's STEAM Time, we are talking all about surface tension. We are going to be doing an experiment that takes a look at how surface tension works, and we're going to be doing that by making some black pepper scatter and panic on the surface of the water. And we're gonna do that with the help of our trusty dish soap. So stay tuned. I'm gonna walk you through exactly what you're going to need. We'll take a look at the science behind it, and then we'll jump right into yeah. the experiment. Are you excited? Yeah. Good. For today's experiment, where we look at surface tension, we only need a few things. Most of this, you're, can you can. Most of this, you are going to have at your house. So, Ollie, what do we need for today's experiment? Uh, water. Water. Soap. Dish soap. Dish soap. Pepper, pepper, we need black pepper, and we need Q-tips. Yeah. And then you want a container, a jar, a bowl, because this is what we're going to be doing our surface tension experiment in. The blue, the blue paper is just so you can see the bowl a little bit better, but other than that, those are the only things you are going to need to join us as we take a look at how we can make black pepper scatter across the top of water. We just talked about the supplies you're going to need to do our experiment today, and we're looking at surface tension. So let's actually define what surface tension is. So surface tension is what allows objects with a higher density than water, so in our case, the black pepper, it's what allows those objects with a higher density to float on top so they don't sink. So that's what we are looking at today is the surface tension of the water and what happens when we introduce soap to the black pepper that's floating on top. So here's how the actual experiment works. So black pepper, like we have here, mine's just the kind that you grind, so black pepper is hydrophobic. So what that means is it does not dissolve in water. So if you, we can actually test this. Let's take a look. Yeah. So if you grind pepper or sprinkle pepper on top of water, it's hydrophobic. So I'm just gonna use my finger. Do you wanna use your finger? Yeah. And we're going to try to mix it. Okay, mix, 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 and stop, and stop, stop. Let's let it settle for a second. We're just gonna let it go, go, go. And so with black pepper, mine's a different mix. So a lot of the parts are gonna settle to the bottom, which are the heavier parts. But with normal table black pepper, because it's hydrophobic, pieces are starting to float to the top. So they don't dissolve in water like salt or sugar does. Also at play are water molecules. So water molecules are attracted to each other and that's what creates the really high surface tension on the surface of the water. Are those water molecules that are attracted to each other? Okay, no more. We did a good job stirring. So what we're gonna do is once we sprinkle our pepper, we're going to want to add dish soap because we wanna see what happens when we introduce the dish soap to the pepper floating on top of the water. Soap should, if we do this correctly, break down the surface tension because what they do is they break those water molecules and they start to spread out and they take the pepper with them so they start to scatter. I know I threw a lot at you. That's the science behind this really simple experiment. There's not many things that we need, but there's a lot of science concepts at play with this experiment. So now that we learned about surface tension, let's actually dive in and see this experiment firsthand. Are you ready, Ollie? 
I like that, that was his diving position. Okay, stay tuned and we're gonna do the experiment together. Okay, so we learned about the science behind today's experiment. Now it's time to actually see that in action. So the first thing you're going to want to do, what do we do? We need to fill our bowl with water. So fill your container with water. I picked a clear one um, just so I could kind of see anything that floats to the bottom. And then once you have your container filled with water, you want to grab your pepper. Now, here's where you can take this experiment up a notch. If you have different types of pepper, you can use the traditional really finely ground pepper. I only had peppercorn on me with the grinder. So what I did is I put it in my container and then I smashed it a little bit to make the pieces finer. But if you have both, test both. See which one works better and what reaction you get when you add the soap. So we have our water. We're just going to sprinkle a tiny bit of pepper on top, nothing too much. I'm doing a tiny bit. The larger pieces of my ground pepper are going to sink because the, they're heavier than the water. But with traditional pepper, it should all float to the top because it's hydrophobic, which means it does not mix. So we have our pepper. Now, I put a little bit of dish soap in this tablespoon. You don't need much for this little experiment. You're going to take your Q-tip. You wanna dip it in some dish soap, just the top, just like that. And now you're just going to want to touch the surface of the water. Now, because the soap is going to break the surface tension of those water molecules that are tightly packed together, your pepper should scatter. So if we did this correctly, it should work. So we can pick a spot. Where should we put it? Uh, right there. Right here. And it did, oh my gosh, that actually really worked. It ran all the way to the edges. Let I me know. try that. Yeah, I'm gonna let you try it. Let me sprinkle a little bit more pepper. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, let's sprinkle our pepper. Now, can you dip your Q-tip just a little bit in the soap? Perfect. Okay, wipe it off just a little. Now touch it, touch the pepper. <gasps> what happened? What did the pepper do? Play. It spread out. It ran away from the middle where we put it. It actually scattered to the edges to because, that was that fun? What it did is it scattered when we broke the surface tension of that water. And voila, we had runaway pepper. So that's all it takes to do your very own pepper experiment. Now to do it again. You wanna do it again? Did you have fun? Yeah. See, science can be a ton of fun. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining Ollie and I as we talked about surface tension. And if you're interested in more videos like this, definitely check out our YouTube channel. It's MCFL Virtual Programs on YouTube. I have a lot of other steam time videos that talk about different science concepts. You can also check out science books at any of our branches by visiting our online catalog at emcfl.org. Thank you so much everybody for joining us, showing how science is a ton of fun, and we both look forward to seeing you guys next time as we touch on a brand new science concept. Can I do it again? You can, can you say goodbye to everybody? Goodbye. Say bye everybody, thanks for joining. See you next time. See you.